Hello everybody. Um, today we are going to finish wrapping up on the Yeti Arc project. I dug out a bunch of parts for it. Um, we have everything but wheels and chain rings for the crankset. I haven't decided which wheels I want to run yet and the chain rings I planned on using were the wrong BCD. So we're going to start putting on everything we have. XTR 9 speed shifters. We're also, I've never ran the rapid fire shifter that goes on a bar end, so we're gonna do that. So have us some nice Anza bar ends that'll go with the black theme, black and yellow theme. Uh, XTR V brakes, the race face cranks that you've all already seen, synchros post, yellow saddle, XTR um, cassette, dug up some yellow Yeti grips, so once we get all that um, on the yellow and black um, theme is really going to be popping. We're going to do um, black and yellow housing and uh, then we'll find some wheels. I'm thinking black rims, hopefully XTR hubs if I have a set and then um, for tires probably going to take this ground control off of this wheel and then I believe I have the second one somewhere here in the shop. Um, so I think those will look good. They're in good condition. Um, and I like the tan walls. So let's get cracking. The goal is to get this rideable today. We'll see if we can make that come true. It's been raining here. The trails finally opened and then I think we had like two days of open trails and it started raining again. So it's been kind of a bummer for mountain biking, but I guess it's a good time to be working on finishing up projects. Rubbing alcohol to get these grips on. It's my preferred preferred grip installation method. Residue um, and hairspray, I find, makes the grips. I mean, if you have to remove the grips, you gotta cut the grips. And so, if you don't want to cut your grips, that that can be kind of a bummer. Um, so we're just gonna get everything kind of tossed on here, and then obviously once we get wheels on it, we'll be able to set it down on the ground and kind of get the levers. And everything and ooh, we're very close to not being wide enough so with these XTR shifters you want to be careful because the uh, the barrel adjusters aren't threaded in they just kind of um, push in there's a little like a uh, supposed to be a little like metal uh, piece that kind of crimps and keeps them in but they like to fall out, so I'm gonna be mindful of. We end, we get a lot of shifters into the shop that those are missing, um, just because they do fall out. So it's something to be mindful of if you have that style of XDR shifters, so you don't lose them. Okay. Well, I like how the Anza bar ends look already, so that's, that's a good start. that. 
So it'll be a little, you know, first time using one of these. It'll be interesting to see if I actually shift with it or if it just lives up here and doesn't get used. But it looks pretty cool. If I do say so myself already. Yeah, we got the cockpit alive. And we'll, all this will have to be re-angled once we get it on the on the wheels. We'll kind of see where it's all going. But we're going to install the crank next just because I want to make sure that this bottom bracket is going to work. Um, and we'll go from there. Hopefully it does. And then... I don't have the inner chainring bolts yet either, but I have to, I have to track some down. I know I have some, but I just haven't found them yet. Um, but we're just gonna put these on to get the look of what the frame is gonna look like. So that's gonna be exciting. I think we're going to need a shorter bottom bracket spindle just by the look um, you know that's close it's gonna be close we have obviously we have room to play with down here um, and also depend on the chain rings but we're just gonna leave them on there now so we can kind of get an idea what it's gonna look like which is all done And we're gonna put the post in because this is what I've been waiting to do. And it's really gonna start to make it look finished. Oh, we actually don't need this. So, because we're not running the canties, we don't need this cable stop. So we're gonna remove that. One less thing that I'll just won't make noise. Old bikes make enough <laughs> noise when you ride them that you don't need to add to it. I think that looks it's starting to look really good. So wheels. We have a few options. I have a pair of machine tech. Uh, to some Mavic rims, I can't remember which ones. Uh, kind of, they're kind of the, not they're not the sunsets, but they have similar oil slick look. Um, otherwise, I have these XTR wheels, but they're not matching hoops. One's a, the rear's a Mavic seven. 17 and the front is a Mavic 517. So they're both XTR hubs, they're both black, but this has a, the rear would have a machine sidewall and this would have a ceramic sidewall. For something I'm trying to build up as nice as possible, I'm kind of leaning against that just because I would like it to match. I have Chris King's. But I would need to rebuild the rear because it has a, it's been, it's got tapered uh, butted spokes and then a, a bunch of non-butted spokes have been laced in, probably six or seven uh, on this rear. And there's already one broken one. The, the nipples are brittle and uh, I don't believe there was good spoke prep. Um, or it's just been a long time because the, all the nipples are super tight and then when you do try to turn them they just snap um, so that'd be an option but there'd be some work involved which I'm not against doing but I just don't know if I want to put those on here I'm not the biggest fan of the Chris King Buzz um, I like a quieter wheel 
trying to find that other ground control. Well, that's the Alpine Star. I have a set of Alpine Star tires that are pretty nice. Okay, I know, this is a disaster mess. But, uh... We don't like throwing away good vintage tires. So they just get stacked down here until we have a use for them. Ah, there it is. There's the ground control, so I think that's what we're gonna run. Um, so we got a tire. So, there's the machine techs. It's a little dark back here, but Mavic 217s. Um, I just not, it's, I want, I would like black rims, I really would. Um, most of these are unmatched, but there's potential that there's a front or a rear that may better match those two that are upstairs. So I'm just doing a quick peruse. Um, we started getting all these, you'll see a lot of them were tagged. We started tagging a lot of them, um, hoping to get them listed, but we've just gotten busy and haven't gotten around to that yet. Um, normally I have wheels stashed in my office for my personal projects, but I've used everything I had Well, that could be perfect. Some sun wrinkles. Black cubs. Okay, so we went downstairs and we found the other ground control tire and some sun wrinkle to sun RMP wheels. So black cubs, black rims. That'll go with our black post, black fork, black bar ends. I think it'll look real good. Um, so I'm gonna get these seated up with some tires and I will check back uh, once they're on the bike. Okay, we put the wheels on and it's starting to look like a bike, which is super exciting. Um, we're gonna drop it down and kind of adjust the the brake levers and the bar ends and the shifters and get that all where I want them. And then uh, um, from there, we will start to cable it and um, it will be riding very shortly. So let me put it down quick and we will start getting everything. Everybody kind of has their, you know, how they like their brake levers and everything to be, well, I left this side loose so that I could just kind of dial it in where I want it. Hardest part is everything to match but I just kind of do it on feel um, most of the time once I ride the bike I will <laughs> I can tell if one hands higher than the other um, but that looks really good I'm really getting excited how this is turning out So, next, so we got yellow brake housing, 
So I'm going to throw this on quick and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So if you've never used the Shimano Servo, servo, um, servo Wave levers, they have normally, you know, the brake goes in, the end of the brake cable goes in in here. But on these, it fits in right here on the lever and this little cover snaps down to hold it in place. It's just a thing to be aware of when working on servo waves. It can be kind of confusing the first time when you're trying to figure out where the cable goes. Oh yeah, that's gonna look good. Well, I'm gonna put you back down and I'm gonna continue working on this. Okay, we have, I got the uh, brakes routed. The yellow housing's looking good. I chose the top one. It made the most sense to me over here for looping over to the V-brake. Um, I'm really liking the yellow. I've just been admiring it. Uh, I'm gonna continue working on it and probably the next time you see this, it'll be in an episode of us test riding for the first time on single track. Cause I just need to run the rear derailleur, shifter, cable and housing, put on the front derailleur, cable and housing, mount the chain rings, and it'll be ready to ride. So I'll knock all that stuff out and we will be back outside taking this on its first test ride.